Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming on my iPhone because I can't find the memory card to my filming camera. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna film on this, whatever. I really wanted to film something for you guys and I just didn't wanna let the memory card issue stop me. So today I am gonna do a get ready with me. Let's just get right into it. Um, I already have moisturized my face. I already prepped my skin. Um, my eyebrows are just like a little bit tinted. I tinted them a few days ago with the um, Maybelline Tattoo Brow. Absolutely love this product. I mentioned it on Instagram and I literally had like 150 DMs like asking me like what tint I use. So this is the product that I use and it lasts about two to three days depending on how much you um, wash your face and how extreme you go to wash your face. Let's prime with a new product that I haven't tried yet. It's the YSL Touche Clat Blur Primer but it's a pink. And we're just gonna try it out. If it, if it comes out, come on. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Let's prime. Oh, oh, it smells good. It just smells like um the other one that I have. Oh, it is quite pinky. Not too bad actually. It's um it does melt onto the skin, which is really nice. But yeah, it's exactly the same formula I think as the other one, like the clear one with the glitter, which I usually use. Um but yeah, let me find out what the pink one does and I'll leave the info of it down below for you guys. Now we're going to apply the strobe cream um, from MAC. I have actually never used a strobe cream before. I don't really know how to use it. But I was watching Dizzy Perkins' video with Kim Kardashian the other day. And she just popped it on before they apply foundation. This one is in gold light. And I think, I mean she applied it with a brush. But I like just using it with my, my um, fingers. I think I'm just gonna put it on like the high points of my face. I don't even know if this is right, <laughs> but it's fine. Let's just try things out. You know what, whatever. Let's just put it all over my face because I don't wanna waste product. Skin looks fucking shiny, but it's fine. Let's just go with it. Um, I don't think I wanna wear foundation today so I am just going to go in and use concealer. Um, I am a little bit tanned at the moment because I just come back from Bali. So I'm going to be using 4N. It is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wet Concealer. And let's just cover this. It kind of looks really dark on me. But we'll blend it in, it's fine. So I just use my fingers because I just find it's the most easiest way and then the product really melts into the skin how I like to wear my makeup is just to make sure that like my skin actually does still come through and that it's not too much unless I'm like going out in the evening or like and have an event my usual everyday makeup is just very natural um, I do really need to cover this little guy though I've got the Maybelline the eye eraser which is one of my favourite products and it's a really good dupe for the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm just going to put a little bit on, like dab it on. I know it's a little bit lighter, but it's fine, we'll blend it. Whilst I have this here, I might as well just do my under eyes, my nose, chin. I don't think I've used a brush or a beauty blender to do my makeup since fashion week and that was about like a month ago. Um, I just find it much more natural if I use my fingers. And it's so much easier and convenient and it just saves me so much space when I'm travelling because I don't have to bring all my brushes and stuff. Now we're going to go in with my all time favourite bronzer, it's the Milk Makeup. Pretty much just dab it all over my cheeks. And then just rub it in with my fingers again. It's really light, which is what I like. It's not too much, but it's buildable as well. So you can just keep adding it on if you want. And we go in with blush and I'm going to be using the Glossier Cloud Paint, which is one of my favorite cheek products. 
So I just put a little bit onto my hand. There we go, my hand. And then I use my fingers and then just lightly apply it and then pat it in. It, this one, um, what shade is this? This is in Dusk. Uh, it's just really nice and light and fresh, which is perfect for spring. And then we're gonna go in with highlight. I am gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. Um, as you can see, mine kind of like had an explosion in the makeup bag. Um, so I will just, I'm not gonna go like too crazy, but a good amount. And then I kind of swipe it all over my lids as well to open up my eyes a little bit more. And then again, I dab very lightly and blend it all in. So I'm still gonna be using the um, the Glossier Cloud Paint in Dusk. I'm just gonna apply it on my eyelids a little bit just because I have a lot of product on my hands still. A new product that I also wanted to try was the Glossier um, Lid Star. Yeah, and then I ordered this literally like a few days ago and it was really quick shipping. Um, I This one is in Cub. I tried it on my hand and the formula was so nice. It was, it was very like silky and then after it dries it does not budge which is amazing. Let's just dab some on and then blend it. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't want to go like too harsh but I definitely want to build it up so you can definitely like see more of the colour. Like, how nice does this look? Seriously. It's very, like, effortless. Opens your eyes, too, because it's slightly metallic looking. Ooh, I like this. This is really nice. I also got the colour in Herb, which is kind of like a bronze with a green tint to it. Next up, I'm going to do my brows. I usually wouldn't after I wear the tint, but it is wearing off, so I'm just going to fill in just a little bit. And then I'm going to be trying out this Hourglass um, Brow Arch. kind of just want to do it like quite rough today. Really, really easy. Do they even match? I don't know. I don't know, but they can be sisters today. They don't need to be twins. I am going to wear mascara today. So... Where is my mascara colour? This is my travel um, eyelash colour from Muji. I mean, I've been wearing mascara a lot more now, but it's still very irritating to me if I wear it for more than like three, four hours. But I'm training myself so I can wear a lot more because I actually have a lot of mascara sent to me and I just don't really wear them as much. Using the Burberry Jet Black Cat Lashes Mascara. I'm not sure if I used this before. Ooh. I like how fluffy it's making my lashes. When I wear mascara, I like um, for my lashes to look pretty natural. And very, very light. Ooh. That's literally just with one coat. I actually thought my eyelashes were really short. This is amazed me. Can you guys see? So pretty. Okay, I think I'm gonna try one of these new YSL um, Volute Liquid Color Balms. Um, which one should I go for? I think I'm gonna go for this one. It is in shade number 11. Ooh, it's very light. Which is really nice. The applicator is really soft and it's pretty precise. It smells really really good. I don't know if it's a bit too pink for this look. I'm gonna blot this because I think I'm wearing a bit too much. Perfect. It's literally just like my lips but a little bit more colour. And then I think I'm going to put over the top the Glossier um, Generation G lipstick, which I also sometimes use um, as a blusher as well. But this is in the shade Leo. Ooh. 
yeah, I think these two mixed together is really, really nice. I am done. That wasn't bad. <laughs> I'm really impressed with like this mascara. Like that's literally just one coat. Thanks for tuning in on my get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want me to do any more stuff like this and test out any more products, let me know down below because this was pretty fun filming. <laughs> so I will see you guys really soon. Bye guys.